I think we've done the theory so far, so we can jump in the app and, and see one of the examples how to create the basic dynamic actions. Uh, for this purpose, I've created already a prepared screens and forms just so we can jump in and do the minimum so we don't lose time. Uh, it's a simple form. And if we go in and edit this page, Uh, we're going to do a simple dynamic action. So there's multiple ways how we can do it. I'll show one of them. You right click on an item, for example. We're going to do it on an item. We're going to say uh, create dynamic action. Uh, every dynamic action, uh, there's a, an event that we have to define. Just in this case, we're going to do a change on an item, which is already preview because we right click on an item. And then we need to define. Uh, so we, of course, we have to give it a name, which needs to be useful so you can do a simple demo and then we're going to define elements of or well, attributes of a property for an action action is going to be alert in this case you can see that there's a quite a long list of actions which we'll touch briefly later on in the slides and we're just going to do hello world and say save and if we run the page, change the, let's say we're going to make king number two, and we do tab, we get that hello world on the screen as an alert. Going back to my slides, I'm hoping this was easy.